Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd take a few minutes today to show you guys uh, what I use to haul a bunch of my bikes or four-wheelers around. Had a few people ask me the story about the ambulance that's been in the background of some of the videos, and uh, I figured, nah, I was cleaning it out today, so I'd show it around. So anyway, this is a 1995 E350 ambulance, X-Ambulance. Uh, it's powered by 7.3 Power Stroke. Turbo Power Stroke also. For those curious it is still a little dirty i haven't finished cleaning up here but overall um it's not too bad and it's i think it's got about seventy nine thousand miles on the clock still has a lot of the leftover uh actuation lights the lights do still work on here however the sirens have been removed um, this power hungry diesel tuner in it um, makes it at least decent uh, regular Ford RPM control stuff like that a few things and of course CB and I can go ahead and show you guys that so we'll turn this on now That's one version that I can do. And I can flip and alternate here. Oop, wrong one. My bad. Now this mode should have, it appears I got one siren out here. Or not siren, but one light here. Didn't it used to. Yep, it appears that for some reason that one's not working. I'm not sure why. It used to. I know the red ones back here don't work anymore. The bulbs are missing. Interesting. There we go. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but it is flashing. So, now I don't really use them, so it doesn't matter to me anyway. So anyway, shut that back off. That's kind of the inside of it. Like I said, it is a 7.3. Can show you under the hood. Not a lot of power, or not, well, not a lot of power, but not a lot of room under here. Jeez. it rained so there's a little bit of moisture in here but she's packed in tight then of course it does have the ambulance grill where lights and some sirens were i put in the uh, aftermarket headlights and turn signals just because the factory ones were pretty faded over so anyway we can walk around here good old yamaha decal all these compartments have like for instance so not all of them have liners in them so some of them are bare keep a generator some fuel in here i think this one's locked right now yep that's where all the relays and stuff are i'll show you that here in a second when i grab the keys all right this is me after trying to edit the video and realizing that i didn't even end up showing in here anyway it's kind of a rat's nest i don't really put anything in here just because it's an electrical mess i need to clean it up sometime but there's like the old cb wiring in here stuff like that um nothing that's too important all the original electrical for the strobe lights and then behind there is just essentially a giant panel that takes it all so and behind this back one is where the generator used to be they removed the generator so it's just an empty compartment too the only thing is the it has airbags on it and that's where you can manually fill the airbags so round back got a regular receiver hitch pull the trailer when we need to ladder to get up top to access vents or anything it's dirty up here get old backyard rc decal 
So part of this is not done to how I would like it to be done. However, the general gist of it's here. Um, wheel chalk for the bike, or if I have an ATV, I pull out that rear piece and it rolls right over, strap it down to the E-track on the side. But overall, like I said, need some work. That hole there is where the uh, AC used to be. And then this hole, um, and the reason that there's holes in the floor is kind of an interesting story. So after this was an ambulance, a local news station picked it up and this was a mobile broadcasting machine. And what that hole was for, and here there was an antenna. And the antenna had pneumatic um, a base that went down to the ground to support it. And then the rest of it pneumatically raised out through that hole outside. That way they could get good service and broadcast. So kind of cool, but unfortunately the patch job wasn't the best on it. But what we're going to do is we're going to end up covering, redoing this and do diamond plate on the inside. So it should be pretty cool. Stepping in here, just a few things here for when we're going out riding. Got like spare air filter for one of the bikes uh, some empty compartments what's left is the spark plugs I have some different oils filters spare chain up here is just some random tools that I have for whenever needed it under here is pretty cool different storage underneath for whatever a person needs another tool set and I do have a cushion here it goes on this whole chunk and then it becomes a bed so i can use it as a camper when i'm out riding too more storage in there open compartments another one up there spare seat used to have a refrigerator there took it back out uh, i think when it goes to a different design for a refrigerator and then just more storage that isn't even filled up yet and of course hallway to the front again for the vehicle and you can go up to the side here through the other door and get out. So, pretty cool unit. Diesel douchebag tip. You gotta have that. But a uh, pretty sweet unit, honestly. Starts right up. Like I said, pretty low mileage. The old decals are still, the adhesive's still there. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys a quick video of the ambulance and hope somebody thinks it's cool.